Hey, this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and we're here at the 2009 NAM with Miles Kennedy of Alter Bridge. Now, Miles, how's it been going with Alter Bridge? Are you guys working on new material? We are. We are working on new material. In, in fact, about five minutes ago, I was in the PRS booth with Mark, and we had acoustic guitars, and ideas were being thrown around. So, yeah, we're, we're getting ready for record number three. I know with the Mayfield 4, you guys reached a certain amount of success. With Alter Bridge, have you achieved that success that you've always dreamed of? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more than content. You know, I, I never really wanted to be a rock star. I'm just happy being a working musician, in all honesty. It's like, uh, as long as you can pay the bills playing music, you're, you're, uh, you're lucky. So, it's been a, it's been a really... Uh, it's been a great run, and I'm fortunate. Tell me some of the highlights of some of the touring you've done this last year. You know, we just did a tour of, uh, of the UK and Europe, which was, I, I remember the last night of the, show, of the, of the last uh, the last night of the run, I looked at the guys and said, this, is, this has been the best tour I've ever been a part of. It was, and it was all, you know, the, the fans over there were, were so good and, and supportive, and, and uh, um, I, I think just that six weeks was, was very, very special. So thank you to everybody who attended. Now, your name has been appearing everywhere with the fact that there's rumors that you're going to front Led Zeppelin. Um, j well, just when you put it that way, it sounds so ridiculous. I know. It's, I mean, it's really. Good. I mean, come on. I mean, but, uh, know. but, but uh, yeah, there all the rumors were, were going around that uh, I'm, I'm not singing in Led Zeppelin and uh, or any any offshoot of Led Zeppelin um, but uh, you know I, I did have a great opportunity and 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 it was and it was uh, something that uh, I'm very very grateful for so uh, but but Alter Bridge will go on and and um, that's that tell me did you actually go in for one of the auditions with Jimmy Page Sean Paul Jones and Jason Bonham I don't know I, I might have I might I might have I might have uh, played a few songs yeah, so. and what was the fee I mean Look, these are like your childhood heroes, okay? You're walking into a room with them. What was that experience like for you? Surreal. Yeah. It's great. What songs did you end up performing with them? Oh, I don't know. I'll, go, I'll tell that story someday, but for now, it, it was a good experience, and, and uh, I'm still pinching myself. Let's just put it that way. How do you think this next Alter Bridge record is going to differ from the last one? Um, that's... I think we're going to probably continue on down uh, the path that we started with with Blackbird. I think we found kind of found our niche um, as a band, and um, you know we're going to do our best to evolve and continue to continue to grow. We we don't want to make Blackbird Part Two, and nobody wants that. Uh, so uh, you know, hopefully we'll we'll make uh, eleven or twelve compelling songs or or uh, little ditties as we like to call them. So. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's still going to be, you know, guitar heavy and, and, uh, and we'll keep the melodies intact. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's what we're all about, are the melodies, you know, making sure that, that the, uh, that's established and, and uh, uh, you know, it's all about the song. So, how do, you, how do you guys keep Ultra Bridge fresh in the musical landscape we're living in today? Um, you know, I think we, we just try to do what is unique to us um, we've never really been good at following any specific trends that go on um, you know, we're, we're certainly not a, any sort of fashion band uh, we're not, probably not hip by any standard but uh, what we try to do is and we've worked very hard to to develop as a sound that's you hear it you know it's you know it's us you know the, the first record it was it was thrown together so fast in terms of throwing me into the mix and Mark had been working on it for a while and did a great job but we did we didn't have time to develop the sound as the, as the four of us and so um, we we toured extensively and then that came to came to happen uh, by the by the follow-up record so um, like I like I said in, in describing what we're going for on the next album it's it's just to continue sounding like Halter Bridge you know um, that's the goal do you believe that there's a spiritual ethos behind the Alter Bridge sound? I would say spiritual. I think that's a lot of pe what a lot of people take from it is that, or, or, or think, is that it's uh, you know a, we're a Christian rock band or whatever. We don't have any any agendas there. But I think that there is certainly uh, an anthemic quality to to a lot of the songs, and there's definitely a 
uh, not to sound cliche, but there, there's a kind of an undercurrent of hope that we try to instill in a lot of the songs. Um, and I don't know if that's intentional. That's just how we, um, how it, how it comes out and, and, and how we create. So, um, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're definitely not trying to pitch any sort of, you know, re religious or moral beliefs. That's, that's not our job. But, but you do find that some of your spiritual background, because your parents, you did, were raised in a Christian family and so on and so forth, that, that, that that does seep into some of the lyrics. It's not an intentional thing where you're saying turn or burn or anything like that, but it's more of the positive side of, of Christianity. Well, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess you could look at it that way. I mean, if you're, if you're raised with a certain value system, um, you know, I think that is one of the benefits of any sort of, not any sort of, but, but certain religions, wh whatever you want to call it, any sort of spiritual um, belief system. I think that is probably what it's, what's been most healthy for mankind in general. The problem is, is with organized religion, you bring man into the equation, is there's also a lot of really bad things that come along with it. And I think that's why so many people in our generation have issues with organized religion, myself included. I, you know, when people say, are you a religious person? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not. Because uh, I think the term religion, especially given what's gone on, you know, uh, we, we, <laughs> Not, not, not a lot's changed in a few thousand years. You know, people are still dying because of, because of, you know, what they think their God wants. For, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's absurd to me. So that's, uh, I, I think that, that spiritual beliefs and 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 and, and uh, trying to, to live your life right, uh, whether that's being a, a Buddhist or being a Catholic or being. Um, you know, Muslim, it's up to you, but do, do good and be good and, and live a life uh, uh, that uh, revolves around love and not, not the antithesis to that. That's, that's, that's my motto. What brings Miles Kennedy the most peace in his life right now? My wife and my dog. Pretty simple, man. I've got it good. I, I, don't, I don't need, I really don't need much. I've got an overabundance of love in my life with, with my family and and uh, I'm, I'm a lucky, lucky bastard. <laughs> Miles Kennedy with that. Thank you so much for being on the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show. Pleasure to see you again, man. Nice. You too, bro. All right. Blaring Out with Eric Blair show with Miles Kennedy at 2009 NAM. Signing off. The Blaring Out show.